brought out the cocktail kit. It's taking up a little bit of space on the floor here, but I'm practicing some songs. I'm doing a show with uh, a couple of guitar players. So yeah, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, this is my cocktail kit. This is a Club Jordan from Yamaha, and it's a lot of fun, man. You know what else is a lot of fun? Boom! Phoenix Kit is back out. Let's get into this lesson. Very cool, very exciting, Dennis Chambers inspired 30 second note lick. Um, this is just one of those big ones that I keep in my pocket whenever I feel like uh, pulling it out. And the thing about this lick, man, is that it's, it, regardless of what you heard off the top, this is really easy to play. And well, you know what, I shouldn't say that. I should say the foundation of this lick is super simple. The execution is gonna take a little practice, but once you get it, it's super easy to play. It's one of those licks that you can get a lot of use of in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, you can use it as a fill or you can plug it into the middle of a solo. If you're one of those gospel drummers that likes to do all that shedding and stuff, this is one that you can plug in anywhere you want. It's super cool, it's really exciting, you know, sticks are flying everywhere um, and really effective. So let me show you what this lick is, it's really easy. So the sticking for this particular lick is actually pretty simple. Um, it's an eight note grouping, and it's kind of like an inverted peridot. So it starts with the right hand, or the left hand, if you're left-handed. And all it is, is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. That's it, right? So all you gotta do is one, two, three, four, All right, so that's all there is to it, really. Now the thing that makes this lick what it is are the accents and the distribution. So in this case, the first, the fourth, and the last note are accented. So the, the, uh, the two rights and the last left. So when you're practicing this lick on your practice pad, make sure that while you're practicing slow, you practice really accenting those notes. The first one, the fourth one, and the eighth one, the last one. Um, once you get that flow happening, it feels super comfortable when you're playing it on the drums, regardless of where you're putting it. Because I mean, you can include toms in this thing, you can hit crashes with this thing. You can cross your hand over. Like there's a lot of things that you can do with this, um, with this lick. But as long as you practice it slow, make sure you get your accents down before you start to spread it out. Then by the time you spread it out, easy peasy. So I thought the best way to sort of demonstrate this lick is to sort of do it 
evolution style. So I'm going to start just with the flat sticking and then I'm going to add the accents and then I'm going to spread it out so you can see how the sticking develops into a drum lick. So as you can see, man, like there's a ton of different ways that you can orchestrate this lick. And it's really all about just moving the hands out. The sticking, just like any other rudiment based exercise that I show you, the sticking stays exactly the same. So when I'm playing this lick, I don't really care. I don't think too much about the drums or the cymbals that I'm hitting. Um, there's really nothing pre-planned about what it is that I'm playing when I play this lick. I'm just moving the hands around. Now, if there are certain orchestrations that you want to work out with this, as far as, you know, what drums you're hitting and, and whatever else, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and do it. But uh, for me, this is all about improvisation. I just kind of like to launch into it and not think too much about what it is that I'm doing. Because there's not a whole lot of stuff that I can hit that's not going to sound good. So I don't really put too much thought into that part of it. I focus all my attention on the hands and then just move the hands out. So this is a drum lick that you can have a lot of fun with, man. It's, it's really kind of, uh, like I said, it's exciting and it's, and it's easy to play and you can, uh, you can play it at, a, at fairly fast tempos. So it's a good thing to do, like if you're, if you're, you know, doing the whole showman thing, if you're gospel shedding, like I said, this is what's a really cool kind of thing for the gospel thing. But yeah, man, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. So start out slow, get the sticking down, just like I always say with any other um, rudiment based sticking that I show you. And just have fun with it. Really appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Two favors I want to ask you. Number one, if you dig this video, share it somewhere. Two, leave a comment below. But here's the thing. This is what I want to start doing from, uh, from this video on. Because I just thought it was a cool idea. After you leave a comment, find your flag emoji. And leave your flag at the end of your comment. I just want to know where everybody's uh, writing from and watching from. And I just thought it would, you know, add a little color to the comment thread. 
And it would be cool just to see how many different places in the world that you guys are from and you're checking out my videos from and stuff. So yeah, man, find your flag emoji, leave it at the end of your comment. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next video.